Okay, so our wave function is y is equal to 0 0.00200 sine pi x cos 100 pi t. And part a asks how many loops. Well, the length of our string is equal to 3 meters. So what we need to do is work out our wavelength and then we'll know how many half wavelengths fit in along this length. So to work out the wavelength we use k. k in this case is equal to pi which is equal to 2 pi over lambda. So that tells us that lambda is equal to 2 pi on pi which is equal to 2.00 meters. So lambda over 2 is equal to 1.00 meters. So three of these fit into L. So that tells us that there's three loops, because there's three half wavelengths. Part B asks us to calculate the fundamental frequency. So we have the length of wire is three meters and the fundamental frequency it's vibrating like this. So we have lambda is equal to two times the length of the wire, six meters. Now we can get the velocity of the wave from here. So for, the, for this case where it's vibrating, this is for the third harmonic. The velocity will be the same because we're not changing the tension and we're not changing the mass per unit length. So the velocity is equal to F lambda. In this case, we've got 100 pi is equal to 2 pi, let's call it F3 because it's the third harmonic, so the frequency is equal to 50 hertz, so this is 50, and the wavelength we've said is equal to 2 meters, so the velocity is 100 meters per second. So the velocity will be the same for the fundamental frequency as well. So F1 will be V over the wavelength, which is 100 over 6, so that is equal to 16.7 hertz. Now part C says we have the original frequency. So that was F3. So we have the frequency is equal to 50 hertz. But the tension is now equal to 9 times the initial tension. And we're asked how many loops are now present. Well changing the tension is going to change the velocity of the waves. So the velocity is equal to the square root of the tension over mu. So the new velocity will be the square root of 9 times the original tension over the original mu. And the original tension over mu, we worked out the velocity up here was 100 meters per second. So this will be 3, because that's the square root of 9, times 100 meters per second, or 300 meters per second. So that's our new velocity. So what we need to do now is calculate our new wavelength. Lambda is equal to the velocity over the frequency, so that's 300 over 50. And so the new wavelength is equal to 6.0 meters. Now the wire has a length of 3 meters, and so we'll only have the one loop there. We'll just have one lambda over 2. So this tells us that one loop is now present which is really what we'd expect. If we increase the tension, we'd expect the number of loops to decrease.